All right, guys, welcome to exploit development. What I wanted to do is this paste bin that I just finished making right now should be enough to wet your whistle, as my dad would say. Like, it should be enough to get you started, get you started playing with the subject of exploit development. And then when we come back and do our more advanced modules, I sh you should be at, an, at enough of a place where you can work through some exploits. Okay, so first, let's get started. So the first subject is, can you identify known vulnerabilities? So what that is, is people need to get comfortable enough with knowing what's the difference. What's your first skill? Your first skill in hacking is, can you identify known vulnerabilities? So what does that actually look like? So you might ping sweep a network. So you ping sweep a network trying to figure out what hosts are reachable in a given subnet. So your point is you ping a host trying to see if you can see if it's alive. Well, when you ping every host in a subnet, your ping sweep, you're trying to see what hosts are alive in the whole subnet. So that's usually the first step that I do. Well, right now that seems to be really kind of giving me some issues. Well, hopefully they'll go a little faster. Let's see. Ooh. Immediately what I would do is change that to an SL, which is what you see is the next step, right? So I change that to an SL and I get all these results back. So all these results, some of them actually have host names. So the way that I do it next is to run the same scan and grep for com like that. Okay, so now we found all the hosts that are in that subnet. Looks like I've got www.cnn.com. Looks like I've identified load balancing, right? Corresponds to two IP addresses. I've got svcs.cnn.com. Also looks like load balancing. And then ISFMS, right? Okay, so those seem to be the only real host out there. So what's your first step? Ping sweep, right? Basically host discovery. Now you want to do some sort of a port scan, right? So the reason for this port scan is to try to figure out what ports are listening. So your first thing is you need to figure out what hosts are reachable. So now based on those hosts that are reachable, let's say that we want to go after an individual host I'm going to throw in some ports just to speed this up. So I'll go P2280 uh, and 443. So I'm doing this now, and I got these ports, okay? So I've got port 80 is open. I've got port 443 is up. Excuse me, open. So your first step is figure out what hosts are available, what hosts are reachable. Once you know the hosts that are reachable, now your next step is to know, okay, uh, what ports are open, what services are running. So the goal here is to map the network topology. So if in a network I can see, oh, there's four machines running port 389, right? So what's TCP port 389? Oh, that's LDAP, right? So those are domain controllers. Those four machines are domain controllers. So hackers use the ports that are open to map the network topology, thus the name of the tool, Network Mapper, NMAP. You're trying to make a Visio diagram. You're trying to figure out what's where. That's why you port scan next. So your first step is ping sweep. Your second step is port scan. Now, based on the ports that are open, you can figure out, oh, port 53 is open. Okay, that's where the DNS server is. We use the ports that are open so that we can figure out what this thing is and where it is, right? That's how you build a topology map.
can help you learn about who we are and hopefully if you're willing to join us. Um, this is InfoSec Addicts.